Hi everyone. So today we have to discuss the network address, broadcast address, and the host address. Before going to that topic, just a brief review about the classes of IP address. So we have discussed that an IP address has 32 bits, and out of those 32 bits, we have a network portion and the host portion. And if the 8 bits out of those 32 bits are being used to, to identify a network, then we call that a class A. And if 16 bits are 2 bytes are going to be used for the network portion, then we call it class B. And if 3 bytes are being used to identify the network, then we call them class C. And in these all classes we see, in class A, one byte for the network portion and the remaining three bytes are for the host portion. In the same way for class B, we have two bytes for the host portion. And in class C, we have one byte for the host portion. And if we want to find out the range for IP address, we have discussed in our previous uh, uh, video that for class A the range is from 0 to 127 and for B this is the range and for class C you can see this is the range. Now for instance if you have been given an IP address in this case 192.168.1.150.150 and in this case if you are asked to find out the class that to which class this IP address belongs to then just we need to focus on this very first byte and this is 192 and if you look then this this 192 actually lies in this range from 192 to 223 so we can say this IP address is basically a class C IP address in the same way let's look at this IP address so first we need to look at only this first byte of the IP address and that is 10. And if we compare this 10 with these ranges, then this is clear that this 10 belongs to class A. So on the basis of this range that 10 lies in between this range, it means this is a class A IP address. In the same way, for this IP address, you can see 172 lies in this range so this is again a class b ip address now after discussing these ip address let's move to the network address broadcast address and the host address what are they i'll explain with some examples as well network address is the address of the network as a whole it means this is the address in an, in an IP address, a network address is the address which identifies the network as a whole. So that will be the representation of this complete network. There may be multiple computers within that network, but the network will address will identify the network itself. For, for instance, in this case, you see that this number 19 is same for all it means this 19 is going to represent the network address of this network so if you want to find out the network address of any ip address then what we need to do is that we need to put we need to convert all these host portion bits into zero and only the network portion of the IP address will be considered as a network address of that network. So in this case, you see, this is a class A IP address. So the by default mask is 2555. So this is the byte which is going to represent the network. And rest of the bytes are used to represent the host. So I have just put them 0. So this will be this will be the 19.0.0.0 will be the i will be the uh, will be the network address for this so you see this 19 19 19 is same for all these things and 19.0.0.0 is the uh, network address for this network given this ip address now broadcast address the broadcast address is the address which is used by any one computer when that computer wants to send to all the remaining nodes in that network. For instance, in our case, 
if this computer wants to send to all the remaining hosts within that network then what this computer needs to do this computer needs to use some special IP address which should mean that this is meant for all concern for that what we need to do we need to put in the host portion of the IP address all ones it means whatever number of bits are going to be used in the host portion we have to we have to convert them all to one so if this is eight bits so eight one one will be 255 and for this if we convert this host portion to all ones then this will be 255 and if now this computer will use this IP address then the message will be sent to all of them so for example if this computer wants to broadcast to all the remaining nodes then this computer has to use this IP address if this network has been provided this IP address then to broadcast to all the nodes have to use this IP address this IP address means in the host portion we have to use all one 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 and one now finally host addresses now the host addresses in a given IP address we know that there is a network address and that network is network address is the address which is used for all so this is the network address and the broadcast address is the address which is used when we want to send or when an individual nodes want to send to all the remaining machines in that same network and in between those two addresses all the addresses are called the host addresses so let's see in this case for this specific IP address that is 192.168.10.150 so all the possible host addresses for this IP addresses will be from 192.168.10.1 192.168.10.1 dot three dot four up to dot two five four so these all are the IP addresses which will be the IP addresses within a network whose network address is this and whose broadcast address is this so the host addresses are the range of the addresses excluding the network address and the broadcast address so as an example we have been given an IP address and given this IP address we have to find out the network address broadcast address and the number of host addresses or the computer addresses which can be assigned IP addresses so for this IP address if we want to find out the network address then what we have to do we have to convert all the bits or all the bytes which are going to represent the host portion of the IP address so first of all let's see this 10 is in the class A so in class A we have three bytes for the host portion so what we need to do uh, for this for three bytes we have to put all 0 0 are uh, there this and are there and if uh, before that sorry before that this this point this is the point that how many networks are possible with the help of this IP address so how can we find out the network address so you see in this class A IP address we have been given 8 bits to represent the network portion so number of networks will be 2 raised to power 8 so 2 raised to power 8 different combination of binary numbers will be representing different networks for example 2 raised to power 8 is 2 255 so we will have 255 different networks and within each network within each within each network how many host machines are possible how many computers are possible so that will be 8 8 and 8 that is 24 so 2 raised to power 24 minus 2 minus 2 means this will be the maximum number of IP addresses and out of those IP addresses one IP address will be used as a network address and one of the IP address will be used as a broadcast address so we are just excluding these two from that so whatever the answer will be those many number of computers can be assigned IP address within single network so 
so we will have two raised to power eight networks and within each network we will have these many computers which can be assigned IP addresses to so the range will be so this 10 will be fixed that is going to be represent the network portion and these are the host portion that will be 0 0 0 for network address and that will be 255 255 and 255 will be the broadcast address and all of the address in between them will be the host addresses so network address and the broadcast address and these all remaining IP addresses can be assigned to individual host machines within a single network to wrap up 255 networks like this and within each network we can have these many host machines which can be assigned an IP address using this class A IP address